Hello there, folks. My name is Ben, and welcome to this exclusive FM23 video with me, Dr. Benji. So, we're going to talk about the match engine and the graphics engine for the upcoming Football Manager game, as we've not really seen too much of it. Now, it should be noted that this is an alpha version, so it's still a work in progress. It's not beta. It's not the full release. Uh, so, just bear that in mind as we go through and watch this video. Football Manager gave me some access to the game, so that's what I thought we were going to talk about. They've gone through a little bit of headline feature stuff so far in their video, but there wasn't there wasn't loads in there. So so we're going to unpack it a lot more with a lot more detail and focusing on the areas I've talked about. I'm going to avoid talking about defensive AI and attacking AI in detail. You having played the game will know that it takes a while to get to really understand that and get to grips with that. And I feel like taking small sample sizes and using that as my full example is probably unfair. So what we'll do, we'll make a future video where we focus on that a lot more. I think once I've got 100 hours, maybe 200 hours, I'll have a much better grasp of what we're seeing, patterns that we're feeling a lot more with different tactics and different styles. Um, so there'll be another video on that in the future. But for now, we're going to focus on sort of what we're seeing and feeling outside of those sort of more niche areas. Important areas but slightly more defined based on tactics and all sorts. I didn't have that much time. So yeah, interceptions seem different, so I definitely will discuss them in the, in this future video that we do. The out-of-possession tactical screens with more defensive lines, pressing trap, cross-engagement, that's all become more defined. So why would I not want to focus on that more? I, I want there to be another video on that entirely. So let's first talk about the animation engine improvements. Now in FM22, they introduced a new animation engine and they're continuing to improve upon that, right? Help with foot sliding, foot jittering, and some other buggy elements that exist within the game. And the inverse kinematics. Kinematics? Sounds right, doesn't it? Inverse kinematics do certainly improve the animations and create a smoothness that we haven't seen to this level in Football Manager before. Football Manager themselves said this, these improvements will be seen across the pitch with a myriad of animation changes, including the way that goalkeepers spread, parry and dive, defensive tackles, midfield ball control, dribbling, finishing for attackers, and changes how the nets animate when a goal is scored. So of course, those are all the things we're going to look at in today's video. So if we break some of these sections up, as mentioned, let's first look at goalkeepers. Is there a more talked about position in Football Manager when it comes to the animations and the movements of a player? Probably not. And FM did highlight this in their own video, but I wanted to show you loads more animations in this section. Goalkeepers using their legs effectively now, whether they're making a last ditch attempt to make a save or using them to actively tackle a player sometimes. They seem much more much more engaged in the play. And while occasionally they're looking the wrong way at a vital moment, it's 100% an improvement on FM22. They've clearly taken some time to look at goalkeepers, decide they need changing. It's been a community point of interest for a long time. They're getting better. I hope this is now a continual thing of trying to improve them year on year and, and hopefully they become more of a focus. I feel like while some areas were focused on a little bit more, goalkeepers were left a little bit. But you're seeing from some of the clips here that there are definitely animations you've not seen before. So let's let's watch a few more and we'll be back for Files and Red Cards. So far as the red cards, and this is an area I've had a lot of concern over. Personally, it's one of my biggest gripes when playing the game. It takes me out of the immersive environment Football Manager is trying to create, and collisions have long been in need of improvements. This year, 
they've got them, right? There are, some of them are still a little sketchy, which I think you'd expect, again, as it evolves and improves. But pushes are actual pushes. You can see a great example here of a player being ridiculous, getting a second yellow card, but it's a blatant push. And that's something we can all get behind. He sort of pushes him from behind, if we're being honest. So yeah, here's a little montage of some penalty fouls and some pushes and some different tackle animations that you might not have seen before. Okay, lovely stuff as uh, we get away from the violence. Uh, passing, let's have a little look at that then. The changes to passing appear to be both positive and negative, I would say, for managers this year. As the game feels a little bit looser, your teams are far more likely to give the ball away in sort of a ping pong style. And especially, as I mentioned before, with interceptions looking stronger, your style of play will need to be trained to perfection to make sure you get this working as intended. Although when you first see your team put one of these moves together like a really nice one touch move i'm sure you've seen it in, in years gone by but you really see the improvements that have been made this year there's a fluidity you'll absolutely want to watch the replays of these sorts of goals um we've got a couple in this montage as well so yeah keep keep an eye on it have a look here's the passing Right, shooting and this is perhaps my favorite area of the improvements in the graphical engine finishing's fun strikers are able to finish in a few different ways now and more care appears to be taken when finding the back of the net whether they're smashing it past the keeper or if they're caressing the ball neatly around an on-rushing defender or the keeper there is this less sort of hit and hope attitude to things now shooting this time around feels a lot more real and that feels great right there's obviously some long range efforts i've stuck in there as well which look great but finishing this year like just looks again a little bit more considered and i'm i'm a big fan so watch this
The Photo Manager again this year has six camera angles as well, ranging from sideline, TV, behind the goal, vertical scrolling, data analyst, director cam. I was kind of hoping for more, right? I wanted there to be some other ones. People have looked what it's touchline camera, like a proper touchline camera, which might cause some issues for other different reasons. But I don't know. I feel like there could be more done, especially with director cam. It feels okay at the moment, but you could make it feel more like a televised broadcast. That's kind of what I would want. The experience of that could be better. And although some of the animations have had some big changes, the general feel of the game, when you just look at the game, obviously we've looked at a few of the animations now, it just feels like the game that we've seen for five years. And that's way behind what I was personally hoping for. Although there is a new render detail option that allows slightly more graphical fidelity on some of the player motion. And that does look really good. Like you can up that to 200% now. Gives you a much cleaner, more vivid look at the players, which again, you can kind of see the difference between here. Having spoken to the people at Football Manager, and this is an important thing to say, I had like, I spoke to them during the Alpha Access and their studio like said to me and assured me that they were being looked at. The graphics obviously are a point of consideration for the future versions of the game, but a time and a date on those improvements is still unclear. And ultimately that leaves me feeling incredibly frustrated and disappointed. It feels like it's been a long time coming. We're still waiting. And that's, that's frustrating for me. But speaking of quality options, here are the lowest and best quality options side by side. I just thought this was interesting, whether you care or not. I don't know who's using the low quality options intentionally. If it's like that, go to 2D for the love of God, please. please. Um, of course, TD another one, 2D another one of your, your, your camera options if you, if you fancy. When it comes to stadiums and external buildings and the crowds, it's a familiar story. And while I can accept it's not the sole reason as to why anyone wants to play Football Manager, the graphics are sort of a secondary bit you spend a lot of time in the match engine you spend a lot of time watching matches and look i still want and expect better for a game that's got 2023 in the title the trophy lifts are a little bit cooler so you can see what's going on there and while i can't show you the wafer lifts at the moment they look great too the player walkouts and the other pre-match cut scenes that you see some of the pre-match graphics that come up are, are now efl specific as well as obviously the wafer stuff as well as the bundesliga stuff as well so that's really exciting and again will probably help with your immersion in the game Look, that's, that's cards on the table time. There's no argument that FM23's graphical and match engine capabilities, they're better than its predecessor. They're better than FM22. But is the leap enough to satisfy you and me going forwards? Me personally, I still think there's huge room for improvement, both on the match engine side and the graphical engine side. But of course, I'm curious. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to find out more about FM23, nine other creators have different videos on different areas of the game. So either click the playlist that you can see on screen right now or check out the description so you can go to the exact video that you want to see on all the videos that have been released today. And of course, me here, Let's Plays. What have I got right now? Shortlists, guides, experiments coming out soon. I've got a whole list of things that I can't wait for you to see. Uh, so make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and there's plenty more Football Manager coming your way and get, again, get yourself in the comment section. Let's discuss what we're seeing so far. So that concludes today. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, as mentioned, show your support on the video and I'll see you soon as FM23, not too far away.